सो डियर फ्रेंड्स यर वी यर अगेन इन अ फ्रेश डिस्कशन ऑफ शिक्षा मंत्रा बट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे दैट्स वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वाई इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज दिस डिस्कशन इज रिगार्डिंग एडवर्ब्स और एडवर्बियल्स वॉट एवर यू मे से समटाइम्स वेन यू लर्न समथिंग इट्स बेटर फॉर यू टू कंसिडर what you will do when your sentence will put you in a true challenge yes dear friends we learned so many things regarding english grammar and many others but how often we consider of the challenges that it might provide us yes dear friends there's challenges because it uh, sometimes happens you have been given Uh, a basket of flowers with different colors different shape and different sizes now you have been asked to make a garland with them so what will be your first consideration your first consideration will be how to arrange them so arranging is a very very important factor to produce the aestheticism in your garland and the same thing happens in your sentences as well sometimes you have been asked to use several parts of speeches of the same kind together in a sentence and there you get confused there you can't find out what would be the proper order and it happens with adjectives and adverbs here in shiksha mantra we have already discussed about the order of adjectives if you haven't uh, checked that discussion i would put the link in the i button above from where you may check it but for today for this discussion for this session we are here to discuss the order of adverbs yes dear friends it may happen that sometimes uh, you are in a sentence and there you have been asked to use several adverbs together in your sentence several adverbs so adverbs these are our concern now so we have to use many adverbs now what would be the proper order of those adverbs we have to learn this because without ordering them properly we can't get the sense of the sentence so let's begin our discussion and our search for the proper order of adverbs in a sentence so let's begin yes dear friends adverbs how it is sometimes we get adverbs of manner suppose in a sentence you have been asked to put together adverbs of manner and also you get their adverbs of place adverbs of manner adverbs of place and sometimes there you might be asked to use adverbs of time as well so you get three different kinds of adverbs together in a sentence and there you have to place them now what will be the proper order of the adverbs that would be your concern but there's nothing to get confused of you have a very very simple option to follow the adverbs of manner will come first then there will be adverbs of place and then there will be adverbs of time so that would be the order adverbs of manner adverbs of place adverbs of time so a m a p a t a m a p a t that would be the proper order a m a p a t now uh, you may pronounce it as amapat mapat 
um, a path, whatever would be conducive for you to remember, but that would be the proper order of adverbs in a sentence. But it's not all because we have to check an example. Without an example, it's very difficult to find out what I'm saying here. So let's check an example first. Yes, dear friends, here we have a sentence. And what the sentence reads? The sentence reads, she sang well in the concert last night. Now, if you follow what I have done, I'll get there. I have used three different colors. I have written well in green, then in the concert in yellow and last night in blue. So these three expressions are actually three adverbs that we have here in this sentence. How did he sang? So the answer will be well. So it answers the question how that means well is adverbs of manner. So first we have put adverbs of manner. The next question will be where. So the answer is in the concert. So this is adverb of place. So in the second position, we have placed adverbs of place. And then when, that would be the next question for us to ask the verb sang when. The answer is last night, that means this is the adverbs of time. Yes, dear friends, that's how if you produce the sentence maintaining A-M-A-P-A-T, obviously there won't be any confusion. You can produce the sentence well with its proper sense that you want to deliver. Now just have a look at it. What happens if we mark the things up? That means if we produce the sentence some other ways. She sang last night well in the concert. Does it mean anything? She sang last night well in the concert. Obviously. There's a problem in the sense we can't grab the sense properly. That's why it's very, very important to maintain the order. And the order says, let me repeat once again, manner, that is how. Then there will be place, that is where. And then there will be time that is when and with this we can very easily produce our sentences we can very easily produce that garland i'm talking of with arranging all the flowers those are the adverbs in a very very well arranged manner and we get the sense properly so that's all from this discussion today we are returning very soon with another very much very much interesting discussion yes dear friends and that has been let me tell you one thing clearly it's a demand from one of my subscribers and obviously i would produce this video that's also regarding a very tricky adverb so you have to stay glued to this channel tuned with us by yes dear friends by pressing the subscribe button and the bell icon hard so that you can get all the notifications wherever there would be a fresh discussion uploaded here in this channel shiksha mantra we are returning very soon so till then bye bye happy learning